nothing but a spring here, not even a mattress. That'll keep you off your back and you won't snore tonight. Just crawl through the blanket. I want you to be well rested for the operation. <laughs> Put out the light. Well, I won't be but a minute. Here. Bet you didn't clean out the bread box. I cleaned out the bread box. Leave food for the cat? Left enough for a week. <laughs> What'd you leave him? Six pound tin of corned beef. <laughs> did you empty it into a plate? No. Well, how do you expect the cat to eat it? I left the can opener on top. <laughs> Why don't you stop worrying about the cat? brought all the animals with us. Poor little canary is locked in his cage. Cat can't get out tonight. Who's going to feed the goldfish? I bet they're terribly unhappy. No, oh, they're not unhappy. They're having a fine vacation. They are not. They are, too. When I left, the cat was fishing. Fishing? Where? In the goldfish bowl. He was using the canary for bait. John Dickerson! Oh, the canary and the goldfish are all right. Why don't you go to sleep? I wish the cat had dropped dead. Why are you so mean? I'm not mean. I'm full of those sleeping pills and I can't keep my eyes open. Good night. Good night. Why are you plucking your eyebrows this time of night? I'm not plucking my eyebrows. I'm taking off my false eyelash. Oh, eyelashes. I never knew you had bald eyelids. My eyelids are not bald. It's just that my lashes are short and they don't bring out my eyes. A lot of women use false eyelashes. Well, throw them away. You don't need anything to bring out your eyes. I do, too. You do not. I'm satisfied with the way they bulge now. <laughs> You're going to let me get some sleep? Yes, dear. Just close your eyes. Read the paper for a little while. Read the mind. paper.
but I'm not feeding any babies. What kind of a hospital is this? I'm going to get out of here. Now, you get right back in bed and relax. How can I relax? Well, I'm doing everything I can to make a, a perfect night for you. Oh, I'm so worried I won't be able to close my eyes. What are you worried about? All well, you told us just that it was only a minor operation. I don't care about that. I'm worried about Nature Boy. Who's Nature Boy? The cat. How is he going to get out tonight? What does he want to get out for? John, don't you know it's impossible for certain creatures to be shut up for the night? How well I know it. <laughs> Go to sleep, Blanche. I can't sleep. I must find out if the cat's all right. John, maybe you ought to call him. Okay, what'll I call him? Johnny, I mean, call him on the telephone. You're going stock staring mad, Blanche. How can I call a cat on the telephone? He'll know it's us, and the ringing of the phone will comfort him. Go on, call Nature Boy. It won't cost you anything. Nobody would believe this. <laughs> Calling a cat at one o'clock in the morning. Ludlow, 71575. Ludlow, 71575. Thank you. How much can a man stand of this sort of stuff before he cracks up? Oh, don't be so tragic. A lot of people call up their pets. Any sound in the house to break the monotony makes them feel better. Sure. There's no answer. Shall I keep ringing? Just a minute. How many times you wanted a ring, Blanche? You sure if you've got the right number? Operator, are you sure it's the right number? I'll try it again. Hello. Hello, Nature Boy. Uh, Are you all right? Fine. Good. I left a big dish of cat catnip under the sink. Don't touch the canary. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> there, you see? The cat feels fine. <laughs> Blanche! <laughs> Who answered that phone? I thought you were kidding. Did somebody answer? Must have been a wrong number. Of course I think so. Don't start making me believe that a cat can talk. Blanche, I can't stand any more of this. I'm going home. You are not. Dr. Hurt, you would never forgive me if you ran out on him. I don't care. I don't trust that doctor. I don't believe he knows what he's doing. I'm getting out of here. You get right back in that bed. Everything's been prepared. The surgery, the nurses, the anesthetic. They'll think you're crazy, John. Blanche, it won't work, I tell you. Look, that's no operation if you cure snoring. That guy's a fake. How much is he charging you? Fifty dollars. Blanche, I appeal to your sense of economy. I'm a perfectly healthy guy. Never sick a day in my life. That snoring operation won't work, and we'll be out fifty dollars. You won't be out a penny. I made a deal with Doctor Hershey. What deal? If the operation's a failure, he's going to take out your liver and appendix for nothing. Good night, Blanche. Good night, John. <laughs> 